We now are going to step through, in this video, a process of extracting spot elevations and break line data that's 2D into a three-dimensional PowerCivil DAT file, which in turn can be used to create a TIN file, or triangular irregular network. We'll be working in our a DWG file, which is 2D. I'm going to use pages 113 through 116 in our training guide. We have a DWG file located in the data geo site DTM 2D underbar data folder. This is the file that I'm going to open up with PowerCivil. It should note that PowerCivil can open up AutoCAD files. DXF files and DGN files. Set the units to feet. Click OK and the file will open. In PowerCivil I'm going to access my DTM tools which brings up my main DTM palette and we're going to be using the Extract Graphics tool. I'm going to first create a DAT file and I'm going to give it the name exground2d.dat. I'll make it a binary file. I'm going to create the file and then I'll with spot information first. I'm going to be creating spots first and then I'll come back later and I'll append to the file with break lines. So the first feature I'm going to extract is spots with my mode set to extraction. I'm going to have the program search for a particular level which I can click the match button and go select a piece of text or spot elevation and I have several out there. So I'll click match, click on the text, accept it, and it will fill out the level and types for me. I can use the display button to kind of see what text is already picked up. Now in this particular case, the text itself has no elevation on it. It's a two-dimensional graphic. So its origin is zero on the elevation. Yet it has the right content or value. So I'm going to have it read the content of the text. So when I fit view, so everything's visible in view one, and I click apply, it will go out there and process level point elevation and look for all the text and read its content and create a DAT file with that information. <clears throat> Next I would like to bring in the break line information. If I zoom over to the left hand side of the site I can see I've got break lines center lines, pavement lines, stuff like that. And I want to bring that in correctly into the DAT file. So I want to append the DAT file with features of breaks. And when I set it to breaks, that's when I have my stroking option. So I hit stroking and I can set a curve stroke tolerance of 0.05 and a minimum linear distance of 5. So basically along any break line I'll make sure that I have triangle points every 5 feet at least. Now on the lines if I were to look at a particular line the line itself 
is in the correct position, x, y, but it has no z value or elevation on it. So I can see there's no z value, but I want to apply the z value of the text to that line at that location. So we call that interpolation, where we pick up the z value from one source and the xy, or longitudinal reference criteria, from another. So my spot criteria is again my point elevations and the content. My xy is going to be the break line information. Now there's more than one type of break line. So I can click the select levels option here and I can turn on all the levels I wanted to look for. Break line, center line, flow line, sidewalk, telecom, training field, and I believe that's it. I click OK. It grabs those. I can also select more types if I want. So for example, I can hit select element types and get lines as well as line strings. If I do a fit view, hit my display button on the extract graphics dialog, I can see what information is being picked up. Next, I need to set the extract to view one and the tolerance. The tolerance is how far away from the piece of text will it search for the appropriate vertice of the element that it needs to apply that text value to. And I'll set that to 0.1. I moved it pretty close to the exact location when I moved it earlier. So we'll set the tolerance to 0.1. Everything is visible in view one. I'm appending with breaks. I hit apply and it will go through there and process that information. And now I've built the dat file from spots and breaks that was 2D to begin with.